This is a product video for Trauma's Rejet C50 Ultimate Slide Intact Cast Digital Print Film. And here are the details. Base film, 50 microns, laminations, matte and gloss, adhesive, permanent gray, low-tech solvent-based acrylic, liner, slide intact, micro-embossed PE-coated craft paper, uses, vehicle graphics, and fleets. For printing, solvent, eco-solvent, UV and latex inks can be used. Allow printed media to dry for a minimum of 24 hours before laminating. Use Rylam C30 Ultimate Clear Gloss or Clear Matte Lamination. For key properties of the material, the print lamination layer together are 100 microns thick, and the slide and tack adhesive has a matte finish and a very low initial tack. This makes it highly repositionable. Note that applying pressure does not fully bond the film to the surface. So, instead, after squeegeeing, be sure to add light heat, then once done, squeegee one more time. This helps activate the adhesive and will firmly hold it in position. The air egress feature of the adhesive allows bubbles to be pressed away. Note that when stretching the Rejet C30 Ultimate, it should be kept under 10% stretch when possible. If during the install is taken past 10%, then this may cause the print to whiten. If this happens, simply pick the piece back up Add heat to trigger the memory effect, which will bring the color back to 100%. Then the install can continue. On some applications, multiple panels will have to be used, so therefore there's going to be an overlap. It's important that the overlap is between 2 and 3 centimeters wide. Also note that it's important to activate the adhesive of the top panel in order to ensure a tight bond and seal. Now we move on to install and the workspace temperature should be above 15 degrees Celsius and standard insulation tools can be used. The first step is to remove the hardware. Always be sure to do this in a safe manner. Next up is cleaning. Be sure to clean the main surface area to remove the dirt, then degrease the surface. Be sure to pay extra attention to the edges. This can mean placing a squeegee in a microfiber towel and opening sections of the vehicle, then masking tape any raised objects to lower the surface energy. When setting up a panel, Get in position, then trim off any excess film with the liner on. Be sure to leave enough material on all sides. To precisely place a panel, be sure to set up a hinge. There are a wide variety of types to use. In this case, this is removing the liner in the middle. Once set, flip the panel over and align it to the preset marks. The panel is then squeegeed in place in the center. Lock the top side of the panel then release the rest of the liner in the middle. Once set in the middle, firmly, remove one side of the panel, pick up the panel, and stretch it lightly to the side to make it as flat as possible. Repeat the same steps for the other side. One thing to note is that Rejet has a unique ability to relax flat to the surface by adding heat and overlapping strokes. This helps make the wrapping process much easier on the installer. Once the material lays flat, it can be simply squeegeed to the surface in firm, overlapping squeegee strokes. For trimming, always cut the corners first, then either trim the film directly to the edge being wrapped, or, especially for sections where the client will be grabbing, cut on the opposite side. Then use an application glove and heat to soften the film, form it to the underside for a good long-term hold. When complete with the section, warm the panel between 40 and 50 degrees Celsius to activate the adhesive. The low initial tack of the Rejet C50 Ultimate allows installers to comfortably handle large panels without assistance from another installer. Just like on the hood for sections where the film is bunching up, hold the film lightly off the surface and add heat. This will cause it to easily conform to the surface, then, once flat, simply squeegee it into place. For finishing on areas like the top of the fender, cut on the opposite side, then once the cut is made, Run a finger on the tap edge while adding light heat. Then come back with a squeegee to seal the deal. This combination creates high workflow and activates the adhesive on the edge for a full long-term hold. Now we move on to protocol for installing Rejet C50 Ultimate on large compound curves like this back bumper. It's best to use two installers. One heats, the other holds off the surface. Add heat while forming around the curves and on edges simply pick the film off, off the surface and add heat. In most cases it'll shrink into place with no wrinkles to the edge, then simply squeegee the film to the surface with no bubbles. 
for severe compound curves, like on this mirror, it's recommended to wrap it in two pieces. First, apply the large piece on the main area. Then, once it's set in place, cut away the excess film to the edges, both on the outside and on the inside portion. For the second piece, prep the surface one more time, then add the back section. This back section has no tension because it's very flat, so once it's positioned and all the excess film is cut away, there's no stress on any point of this mirror. This means there will be great long-term hold, which makes for happy clients and no costly redos. Be sure to add heat on all the edges to activate the adhesive. Rejet C50 Ultimate is very conformable. This means that it can be applied to deep recessed areas that are commonly found on bands. Standard installation methods can be used when forming the film into the deep channels. Note that the low tack of the adhesive plus the air egress allows the film to easily be applied to the flat area once the recessed channels are formed. At the end of the install, it's critical to post heat certain areas up to 90 degrees Celsius. This will reduce the memory factor of the film and help ensure a long-term hold. Always be sure to use a heat gun and an IR thermometer, and be sure to focus on all deep recessed areas, edges, and any overlaps. After post heating, reinstall any hardware that was removed, then wipe down the surface with a friendly aftercare product. And note that the vehicle should be cleaned on a regular basis with safe detergents in order to maintain the pristine matte or gloss finish. And also note that if the outside temperature after the install is going to be below 15 Celsius, keep the vehicle inside for 24 hours at a temperature above 20 degrees Celsius. The expected vertical outdoor durability in Central Europe is 12 years. This is considered Zone 1. And note that when it comes time to remove Rejet C50 Ultimate, be sure to add heat to the film, then pull it gently off the surface. Little to no adhesive residue will be left behind. This has been a product video for Rutrama's Rejet C50 Ultimate Slide and Tack Cast Digital Print Film. Proudly produced by the Rep Institute.